Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In the last session, we had discussed addition function using unary numbers. Now in this session, we will move to subtraction function using unary numbers. We already know unary number format. A number is completely represented by using ones or by using zeros, either ones or zeros. For our convenience, we are using ones. And the subtraction function is for example, m comma n are the two numbers. f of m comma n is equal to the answer is m minus n. If m greater than or equal to, not greater, equal to, if m greater than n is equal to 0, if m less than or equal to n. This is the subtraction function. Suppose consider if m is equal to 3, n is equal to 2, what is the output? 1, 1, 1. This is 3 minus 2 is represented 2 ones. What is the output? 1. This is the answer. For example, m is equal to 4, n is equal to 2. We can represent like this 1, 1, 1, 1 with 4 ones minus 1, 1. The output is 2 ones. This is the answer. That is, first we construct the Turing machine for m greater than n. What is the procedure and how do we implement? Simple. Initially, I am at state Q0. Observe carefully. Uh, this is my example. 1, 1, 1, 1, 4 ones. This minus symbol is represented. Suppose for our convenience, I am using the symbol 0. That is separation of the two numbers m comma n, 1, 1. And you know. The tape is of infinite length. That means any number of blank symbols are possible. Any number of blank symbols are possible. What is the procedure? The procedure is initially I am at state Q0. If my input is 1, if my input is 1, 1 is replaced with the blank. Simply, here the first one is replaced with the blank and the last one is replaced with the blank. Second one from the starting, second one from the last. Whenever zero occurred, we have to stop. Observe. So first two, whenever one occurred, one is replaced with the blank and then move to the right direction. That means what happens? This one becomes blank. This one becomes blank. And then direction for example state q1 right now i am at state q1 and this is my position this is my position at this position if you have any number of ones occurred one is replaced with one and then move to the right direction so at this position again one one is replaced with one suppose zero if any zero occurred 0 is replaced with 0 and then move to the right direction. So, 0 is replaced with 0. 1. 1 is replaced with 1. 1 is replaced with 1. Now, at this position, what is my state? Right now, my state is Q1. Whenever 1 or 0 occurred, we are replacing. So, I am writing a self loop. Whenever the blank symbol occurred, now what to do? We are converting the first one into blank. So, we have to convert the last one also into blank. That means blank occur. The blank is replaced with the blank. And then you have to move in the left direction. So, state Q2. At state Q2, what is the operation we are performing? This is Q2. The last one. The last one is replaced with the blank. The last one is replaced with blank. That means at the state Q2, here 1 occurred, 1 is replaced with the blank and then move to the left direction. So this process is repeated until this 1 occurred, 1 is replaced with 1, 0 is replaced with 0 until this blank occurred. That means we have a self loop. 0 occurred, 0 is replaced with 0, 1 occurred, 1 is replaced with 1 and then so, the process is repeated. Whenever the blank symbol occurred, what to do? 
that is at state q3 we have one or zero replace itself this process is repeated until the blank suppose whenever the blank symbol occurred the blank is replaced with the blank and then move to the right side direction so that means right now i am at this position i am at this position what is the state q not so here what to do q not again one is replaced with blank so see this one b this one is replaced with b now state q1 right state q1 one is replaced with one one is replaced with one zero zero is replaced with zero one b whenever blank occur whenever blank occur then what to do this blank is replaced with blank and then move to left direction in the left direction whenever one occur what we are doing one is replaced with blank you got it see this one this is the thing one is replaced with blank and then move to the right direction in the left direction zero is replaced with zero one is replaced with one until this blank occur suppose whenever this blank occur what to do here one one is replaced with this blank and see this one right now i am at this state with the state q1 here what you are doing one is replaced with one move to right direction zero zero is replaced with zero move to right direction so blank blank is replaced with blank blank is replaced with blank that means this is replaced with blank and move to q2 at this position you got it at state q1 one is replaced with one move to right direction at q1 zero is replaced with zero move to right direction at q1 blank is replaced with blank so b is replaced with b and move to left direction so this is the left to most position right now state is q2 that means in this process of moving left direction whenever zero occurred in the sense with zero occurred in the sense that means that means it is completed but how many number of ones you required you required two ones but what you are getting one zero simply the last iteration that zero is blindly replaced with one zero is replaced with one and then move to the left direction and then move to the left direction so simply this is called q acceptance state this is called q acceptance state this is the diagram where m greater than n m greater than n now you required m less than n also and m equal to n in this case what is the thing up to now this is okay now i will construct a new diagram q not first i will read out the diagram q1 then 0 replace with 0 one is replace with one one second so bbl one bl okay q2 it is one bl one bl q3 zero zero l one one l here this is zero one l q acceptance state finally from this to this one blank is replaced with blank so this is the diagram for m greater than n this is the diagram for m greater than n so what is uh, m is equal to n or m less than n for example 1 1 0 1 1 1 assume 2 minus 4 in this what we are doing this one is replaced with blank whenever one occurred one is replaced with blank symbol and and move to the last position this one is also replaced with blank now this one this one is replaced with blank now this one this one is replaced with blank now this position zero zero is also replaced with blank and then move to the right direction after zero you are getting a one after zero we are getting a one so this is blank 
and from this this is blank why because for m less than or equal to n our output is zero that means this is the function remember the thing we have different case also right now we are designing the turing machine for this phase suppose we have different case different case in the sense 2 minus 4 in this case also you require the output like this that is another scenario but this is the function we are trying to implement so for this what to do q naught whenever zero occurred on q naught if one occur not a problem replace with blank and then move to the direction move to the right direction everything is happened as it is whenever zero occurred zero is replaced with the blank and then move to the right direction on q4 if any number of ones occurred all the ones are replaced with blank and then move to the right direction that is this is replaced blank this is blank and then blank is replaced with the blank and then right direction you got it simple scenario within two lines the scenario is very simple in m greater than n first one and the last one marked as block second one last time to second one third one last to third one the process is repeated the process is repeated in the traversing of the left direction if it is not possible that means whenever zero occurred at the state whenever zero occurred then that is accepted state and zero is converted into one and in second case m less than or equal to n case is the output is zero output is zero in a sense completely mark each and everything as ones each and everything is converted into ones this is the turing mission for subtraction function. In the next session, we will discuss the multiplication function. Thank you.